The Costa Concordia's last trip is to a scrap heap. The Italian island of Giglio on the peninsula's Tuscan thigh will finally have a clear view of Corsica once again. Two and a half times the tonnage of the Titanic, the Hulk makes its way to Genoa, tugged up the coast under escort after the largest salvage operation of a ship in history. The popular salvage master Nick Sloan, who's from South Africa, isn't taking anything for granted, though if he's nervous, he hides it well. Now we have to go to Genoa, so it's a big day for Giglio, um, but we have to get the ship to Genoa. Once we're in Genoa, then I can relax. When the ship comes in, the maritime haulage operation by US-Italian consortium Titan Mico Peri will be considered done. The bill for the Costa Concordia's owner, Costa Crocieri, is one and a half billion euros. The ship pitched over in January 2012 after striking rock navigating in error too close to the shore. 32 of the ship's very badly managed 4,229 passengers and crew were killed. One body was never recovered, a diver died too. The captain abandoned ship before his passengers. Francesco Schettino is on trial charged with manslaughter. He denies the accident was his fault. Giglio was afraid it was on the verge of an ecological backlash too. The most urgent work was to check if there was anyone trapped alive in the shipwreck, but only bodies were found except for that of an Indian waiter. Before towing, 2,400 tons of fuel was pumped out of the cruise ship. It had to be heated from its congealed state. Monitoring for toxic leaks continues during its final float. Hundreds of engineers and divers prepared for this. An accelerated time-lapse video covers the 19 hours it took to finally haul the ship upright in September last year. After that, it was a question of slowly restoring buoyancy, which included pumping air into the metal boxes attached to the sides. The ship met its end in a debonair coastal sail-by. It is led away, condemned to be chopped to pieces.